Moment of silence for the makeup. She looks incredible. Let's get on to the video. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me of all new products. Okay girl, it is 2024 and you guys know I'm a Taurus, I'm a creature of habit and I do the same routine over and over and over and over and over and I use the same makeup products and that is boring. I'm at a point where I'm so bored right now. We need change, okay? It is a new year, we need change, we need to switch it on up. I have so much makeup that I could do different routines every single time and like show you guys what is good, what is not. Because girl, if I'm a beauty influencer, I need to tell you what's good and what's not, okay? I can't just tell you like the same three products over and over and over. Today we're switching that up for the rest of the year guys. All my get ready with me is on all my makeup tutorials. I'm gonna try and have different products and accumulate different products and do all this stuff I got sent over my dream PR package ever in my entire life Laura Mercier I don't know like months ago months 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 ago They were like hey is there any products of ours that like you want to try and I was like hey girl Yeah, literally sent them a list of like 30 things and I told them I was like this list is insane I do not expect it all. Please just pick and choose what are your favorites like what are your favorites babe? Here's the thing I've been watching YouTube since like 2010 2012 like when all the beauty gurus all the youtubers like all those things So I grew up watching the full face of blank yeah girl so today we're gonna be doing like full face of Laura Mercier if you guys are on TikTok then you guys know this foundation went viral that's why I'm really really excited to do this whole face because like this went viral everyone and their mother is talking about the Laura Mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation apparently it's supposed to be insane okay so let's get into this you guys know if you guys followed me that I used to use this primer all the time this is the Laura Mercier power canvas pure primer I'm obsessed with this stuff it just has like a little squeezy but like mine is like down to the brim that i have to like scrape the sides of what was that i have to scrape the sides of the jar i'm giving casper guys i haven't self tanned in literally so freaking long but like who am i I lock the dogs up and then somebody lets them out and then they start barking like crazy i hate noise anyone else like that like i like dead silent you guys hear how it's dead silent right now I love that like I literally love that even like music I like to play music but I'm not the type of person where I like to have music going 24 7 I have a lot of friends that like will play music from like the time they wake up until like time that they go to bed and I can't I can't okay I literally can't so these are the very much viral right now Laura Mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation just look like this right here and I got three shades girl because I don't freaking know I tried to make it to where like I had like a tan shade and a pale shade you guys know that I'm a creature of habit when it comes to foundation trying out a new foundation freaks me out I don't know what it is so I got cool vanilla vanilla and then macadamia I think macadamia and vanilla are more my tan vibes so I think cool vanilla is going to be the winner here that is what she looks like okay guys we're gonna do a little pump I'm scared why am I scared oh she's pretty oh yeah she's definitely gonna match oh oh my god it feels <gasps> like lightweight and serum-y wait 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 wait, wait. <gasps> okay wait we're gonna do one side at a time. You guys know how I am. <gasps> guys. <laughs> the TikToks weren't lying. <gasps> guys, like, this foundation has been getting hyped. And I literally almost went and got it because, like I said, guys, like, I sent this list to them in August. Which I'm not complaining, okay? I'm literally not complaining. That. But I just never thought I was gonna get it. So I was going to... Guys, it feels like serum. Seriously, go to Sephora. Okay, here's the one th good thing about Sephora is you can go to Sephora and try something out, and then if you don't like it, you can return it. Go to Sephora and try this out. I'm not even freaking kidding. You guys are literally looking at it, and you guys know, here's the thing. You guys know I don't hype up a foundation. You guys know I'm a creature of habit, and my NARS pale foundation is the only pale foundation that is actually, like, covered work for me. It feels like serum. It feels like I'm literally putting skincare. It looks like there's literally no foundation on my face right now, but I'm covered. Foundation, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is insane. This is definitely a foundation that you could build up. I only did, what, like, one and a half pumps of this just because I don't like a lot of foundation on my face. And TikTok girlies are right because I've done about seen 3,000 reviews on this and I was like, dude, everyone's talking about this. Like, when TikTok gets hold of a product, everybody's just talking about it. Sometimes I'm like, are you guys just talking about it because you want to be on the trend, you want the views, or, like, is it actually good? Babe, this is actually good, okay? Guys, now this is where I'm really freaking excited for because we're gonna play into the bronzer. I did not know that they had these. I think out of, like, this entire haul, I'm probably, or, like, all the things that I got, I'm the most excited for these. This is the Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer, and I got two shades. I got Sunbeam and Sunlight. I think Sunbeam's gonna be more the vibe right now because, as you can see, girl, we're giving Casper. This is what it looks like. I'm so freaking excited. Please don't let me down. So I think I'm just going to pour some on the back of my hand. I'm just going to load it up on the brush. And then we're just going to see. Okay, yeah, that's a good color for right now. Okay, let's see. Let me get a little closer so I can see. Oh, yeah. 
she's blending nice guys but so far just with like a brush application and for being very very pale i did put a little too much on that side but she's not separating cream bronzers sometimes will separate on my face i don't know what it is if you're a person that has like face separate like, you just makeup doesn't work with your face subscribe to me babe because makeup doesn't work with my face either and like I'll tell you what products do, okay? On a forehead, I'm really, really loving how this is literally just blending so freaking seamlessly. I don't even know how to explain it except for it doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup right now. Like, clearly I have makeup, but if you're a texture-based person like me, <laughs> these are for you because it's blending like water. I don't know, like you guys can see. It looks like water on my skin. And my skin is not like it's like it's not doing that crunch that it sometimes does like sometimes it does this like separating like crunch vibe okay next we're gonna do is blush which i have three blushes we have three shades if you guys follow me then you guys know two of these shades that i got last year and like i think the summerish time or whatever um but this is the one that i really really love this is called southbound so freaking excited guys because these literally rock okay this is cherry orchard which i'm going to show you guys it's like a reddish shade or whatever that's kind of the one that i want to go in with today but i don't know what we're gonna do blush rise so i think we're gonna have to go pink so maybe we'll test this i don't want this one out on tiktok then i have parasol and mistral parasol is like this really other pretty like more darker pink here's the one that i have which is called southbound this one is parasol as you can see it's a little bit more of a darker color and then the last color is mistral which this one's just another like lightish colors so this is the one that i already have which is this pinky shade and then those two okay so which one do we want to go in with i think i want to go in with parasol these blushes are incredible sometimes i'll put on the back of my hand or i'll just like that says you guys these blushes 10 out of 10 i'm obsessed with them let's see this shade oh she is a dark shade girl she's really pretty though I don't like this brush for cream blush, but my other one is really, really dirty. Do you guys just see how she just blends into the skin? What I really, really like about these is that they're pigmented, but they're not overly pigmented. Love, 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 love. Like when you go to the beach, are you freaking kidding me? This is stunning. Literally wait until you guys see the freaking powder blush. You aren't even ready. Okay, guys, now time for the concealer. I'm so excited because I, once upon a time ago, had this concealer and then my little sister stole it from me. I have a lot of things that my little sister steals. She steals my Nars thing. And it's like, she's not even going for like the cheap things, like grabs and happens to grab for the expensive things. Okay, so this is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wearing Concealer. I think they just came out with a new concealer, but this is their old version. Um, this is the one that I had. And this is in the shade 1N. I hope this is the shade that I used to have that she stole. The sponge is looking really small, but she's going to work. So right here, Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I really, really love this. And she stole it from me. Okay. Maybe I should have gotten lighter. You see, it's more like... Okay, you can't tell, right? That's looking white on camera, but it's actually like... Low-key tan vibes. Not tan vibes. Like, this is my color, but you guys know a white bright... No, to be honest, this is really good that I have this color because I don't have any really concealers that actually match my skin. It's just typically I go to like a really, really bright one. Oh, yeah. oh guys, I forgot how good this concealer was. It doesn't like bunch up. Does that make sense? You guys know how like some concealers like bunch up non-tweaking skin? Then it probably doesn't bunch up. But for me, concealers bunch up and I don't know why. Always in my life. That's why like when I find... That's why I was a creature of habit, guys, for so long. Because, like, when your skin tweaks out, like, you know, my skin doesn't always tweak out, okay? Looking actually crazy with, like, no eyeshadow on and, like, doing my makeup, my face makeup first. Oh, guys, I'm so freaking excited. You guys know that we're, you guys know this is my favorite powder ever in the entire world. And I didn't want to open a new one until I literally finished this. There's, like, barely any left. Like, that is how much le is left. But we're going to open a new one for the sake of this video. This is their Ultra Blur Translucent. So there's regular translucent and then there's Ultra Blur. This is the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Translucent Setting Powder. It looks like this. 
right here. I'm so excited my first ever time. I've been dying to use this because one of the YouTubers that I love watching, she likes this powder. She likes it. And I would probably like it. Guys, moment of truth. But I think that she said that she liked this one better. Just putting on the back of my hand. I didn't think I was going to be able to like... I don't know. I was like, what is going to be different about this compared to like the original? Babe, there is a difference. There is a freaking difference. I don't even know how to explain it. it I don't want to be like cheesy and be like, yeah, girl, I blurred. Like, because that's what the name is. But like, babe, it like blurred. You just saw that. Like, especially underneath my eyes, like instantly. It's like everything's just kind of like going together. Does that make sense? Guys, I've wanted to try this literally for months. For months, I've wanted to try this powder, but like I said, I didn't because I have a little bit left in this and like, I don't want to waste it, you know? Literally love the original, but like, no, I love her better now. And like, that was like, you guys know, die hard. Seven years, obsessed with her, multiple of these, okay? Now let's get on to all the powders. I got a bronzer, I got a highlighter, and I got a blush, girl. I'm so freaking excited. Let me pause first, okay? I want to say something. I've had this powder for a while. I didn't get this sent to me right now. I've had this for a while. This is their Laura Mercier like translucent powder compact i'm obsessed with this and this is what i love as like touch up like bringing this out and about like when i'm out and about i live in arizona okay you gotta apply powder seriously like every freaking hour like it's a, it's a grease ball mess over here i put it in my purse and then i just like touch up around like right here because right here gets oily on me okay guys the bronzers okay so you guys know that i already have a bronzer which i think i might have to use the one that i already have mercier and bronze too um a lot of makeup artists actually really really love this bronzer the reason why i got this bronzer is because i saw like a bunch of makeup artists actually use this and i was like yeah girl i need it but i got another one so this is in the shade two and i got this one in the shade three because i was like okay i feel like i just need kind of like a darker ish one that's the one that i had before and then this is like the more like newer one it's like there's a difference, but there isn't. It's like I see it, but I also don't. Okay, so I think we're going to use the one that I already have, which is this is bronze too. I love this bronzer as one of my pale bronzers. Again, like I said, like I literally have seen makeup artists use this on their clients and like celebrity clients. So like, babe, if the makeup artists are using this on their celebrity clients, then we should be using it too, okay? I really, really love how it just like effortly bronzes though especially if you're a pale girly this is in shade two this is actually really, really nice where it doesn't like i don't know bronze you too much it looks really really nice on top of our cream bronzers okay guys the blush laura mercier has so many powder blushes and i do not own a powder blush from laura mercier i've been like eyeing them on sephora for months 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 i think you might faint over because i almost fainted over it this is in the shade sangria this is the shade that i've been eyeing for a literal entire year okay Oh yeah, she's pigmented, but she is stunning. Oh yeah, that's just like the prettiest like wash pink of color. It's really hard for me to find blushes that I feel like look good on pale. And she blends so nicely as well. Like there's no like harshness with her. She's pretty, obviously I could make her darker or whatever, but oh my goodness. She's actually like stunning. We need to bake underneath the face, girl. Because I forgot to put concealer underneath there and like powder and just create a nice little. You guys know I'm a creature for highlighters and I don't really be testing out new highlighters. Oh yeah, she's beautiful. She is stunning, you guys. <gasps> that is pretty. Okay. Where is my highlighter brush, girl? Oh yeah. That's a really nice. Can you guys see? Pretty subtle highlight. <gasps> Kind of like has like a pinkish, not like a pink tint, but like sort of, does that make sense? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, moment of truth is definitely gonna be the nose highlight you guys know. Oh yeah, she's pretty. She's like a subtle pretty. Like I can see makeup artists using this or like this being like a wedding highlighter because it's not like overpowering. Like I have some highlighters that like I stripe it down my nose and it's like, girl, it's like blinding, you know? But this one isn't like, extremely blinding okay i'm gonna put a little bit into my yeah that's like a subtle nice beautiful like naturally type highlight 
Laura Mercier is known for their eyeshadow sticks. Well, I have a little sister who loves eyeshadow sticks. So anytime I ever get eyeshadow sticks from them, I give them to her. I keep the dark shades, so I have some here. I just don't really know what eyeshadow look I want to do right now. I have this one is in the shade Cafe Noir, which is like kind of like a more darker like brown. I love using these as like a base for like smoky shadow looks. Incredible. Then I have this shade, which is like more of like a topier shade. It's like cobblestone, which those two colors just side by side look phenomenal together. And then I also have a black one. I love, love, love this one for smoky eyes or just using as an eyeliner. They're so freaking creamy. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a base. This is cobblestone. It's a cream shadow. And I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid. Cream shadows are all the rage right now. And I like them, but they're also like intimidating to me because I'm such a powder eyeshadow girly that I'm kind of like, what is this? It's so like foreign to me to kind of just like blend. Oh, it's so pretty. I literally love this shade because I don't have any eyeshadows or like creams this color. Her cream shadow sticks rock. It's just, I don't really wear them because I'm, like I said, intimidated by them. This is in the shade Cafe Noir. I'm gonna like just warm it up on the back of my hand. Picks up really easily. Oh yeah, that looks really nice next to it. Oh my god, guys, now I gotta go to the club because like we're giving club makeup in a second. You can wear it to the club or you can wear it to the grocery store, babe. We're wearing this to the grocery store because guess where I'm going after this? Okay, guys, really like why am I so intimidated by cream eyeshadows? Because this is actually really freaking easy. This is okay, here's the thing. If you're not good at eyeshadow, get cream shadows because actually this is really freaking easy and now I understand why like cream shadows are the freaking rage right now because these are actually good. Okay, so I want to smoke it out a little bit more. I need a powder shadow. I need a powder shadow. This is just really quick if you are curious, the Too Faced one. I have not used it yet, but I need to blend out my crease a little bit more. Fluffy brush. And we're just going to blend. God, I'm so happy that I used these cream shadows, guys, because like... That is so pretty. Oh my god, now that we're going with like a dark vibe, that means, guys, they came up with eyeliners, which I'm literally so freaking excited for. Showed the eyeliners in my PR unboxing or whatever. I got those, what, a couple months ago? And I just have yet to use them because, well, I haven't really done any eyeliner, guys. I have a crush on this look. This particular shade, like out of the both shades, I'm obsessed with this, this cobblestone color. That is like the most prettiest going out smoke look. We have a dilemma because there's too many things ahead of me right now and like my eyes are blurring and so i can't see where that one brush that we just had eyeliner and mascara i have two eyeliners that i pulled out um these are their caviar eye pencils and i have black and i also have brown beautiful i love me a nice oh, like look at that dude yeah i love me a nice creamy black pencil babe she just glided so nice you know like when you put on eyeliner and sometimes it's like ugh, it's like a tug vibes. And then I also have this shade, which is cocoa, which is like a brown, but I'm like, I did brown. So should I do brown? But I've never done brown liner. Like I said, guys, like it's kind of like intimidating vibes. I'm a little scared. No, this is more of a lighter brown. I want more of a dark brown. Yeah, we're going to use this one, which is called Tuxedo. I'm so excited because I'm always looking for a nice, nice, just black pencil liner. I have to like look down because I have like this little tiny mirror right here. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow look. Oh my god, I can't get over it. Like, I don't want to look like a weirdo doing this. Oh, we need to blend that out. But she is dark, girl. I usually don't do eyeliner because my eyes cry. I have really sensitive eyes. But I like the way that it looks, and I think it's going to really do something to this look. And my eyes are less cryy than they usually will. There's some eyeliner pencils that for just some reason... Some of them really make me cry, and this one didn't. If you guys have followed me for a while, then you guys know that I like this Laura Mercier um, Cake Tight Liner, which is basically just like a powdered black liner, and I would use this all the time, literally with this brush, and I would just like smudge or whatever. So this is what I really, really like. This is in the shade Black Ebony. I'm obsessed with this, so I'm going to kind of like just blend out the liner with this to give it like a more of a smoke vibe. Guys, I haven't done... I've been her in so long that I feel like I look like a completely different person. Okay, I want to get a little fun and I flicked it. Guys, we were going for like a daytime look and now I just totally took her like... Okay, I brought it out a little bit more. 
Okay, guys, we're getting crazy here. It's like me, like, never trying out new makeup looks and then me just going extremely crazy with now the black liner. Like, girl, what are you doing? I blended out the bottom with the brown. It's not ugly, but I just kind of wish I did gray or something. Okay. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. If you guys have watched my videos and you guys know I've used this mascara for a while. I love this mascara. She's almost on her, like, end usage. But she's literally amazing. I've gone through multiple bottles of this. I don't know. I really like her. I also just like the wand applicator. Like, it doesn't agitate my eyes. I don't know. There's some mascaras that, like, really agitate eyes. So if you're on the hunt for a mascara, I've been using this mascara for over two years. And I can say that I like her. She's one of my faves that I've grabbed for. Wait, I think I accidentally wiped some of my eyebrow off. So we can get into this lip combo. Girl. So, I have some glosses from them, which I've literally, I had only over one gloss. But this is what we need to talk about. This is stuff that has already been in my collection. These right here are lipstick sticks, okay? I have all of these different shades. Two favorites in particular. These are the Laura Mercier, what are they even called? Petal Soft Lipstick Crayon. And I've never been like a lipstick crayon kind of person, but you guys know I always do like the lip liner, then I do a lipstick, then I do a liner. I mean, then I do a gloss or whatever. I am obsessed with these and I've been obsessed with these for the last couple months. You guys know I, ha I just haven't made a get ready with me, so I haven't really been able to tell you guys. But there's like a shade in particular that I'm like, we might get married. Okay, this is one of the shades that I really, really like. This is the shade called Ella and it's just like a really, really pretty, nice, nudie type of lipstick. I love her, like with like a brown lip liner or whatever. Combo is in my purse. I went to the movies last night, guys. I have nacho cheese in my bag. This combo right here. Okay, so I recently just got this. Okay, so I don't have a Laura Mercier a lip liner, so we're gonna go in with this one that I got recently at Sephora. I'm obsessed. I've been eyeing this for so long. This is the Makeup by Mario in the shade Lauren. It is just a pink lip liner. We're gonna line our lips. I love this lip liner. My home girl okay i'm obsessed with her this is the shade called lod i'm obsessed with it it almost is sort of like the same kind of like color as the lip liner like it's so pretty look with this lip liner so this is a lipstick and you literally can just it's a crayon so like this bottom piece like twists whenever you need more mm. I love her, especially with a brown lip liner. And, like, the pink lip liner looks really freaking good with her, but, like, a brown, she's so good. Okay, we got some glosses. I tried a gloss on TikTok, which is really, really pretty, which I'll show you guys. This gloss I tried on my TikTok, which is so pretty. Like, do you guys see how, like, really pretty that is? So, I don't know if we're going to use this one, or I got two other colors. This one's called Macaroon, and then I also got the shade called Rose, which is, like, this really, really pretty... I also love the applicators on this. This really like pretty kind of like nude-ish shade. Those are those two compared. And then this shade is called Cream Caramel, which is gorgeous. So I'm like, do I do this one? So these are the three shades that I have. Okay, this is one that I literally used on my TikTok. I'm obsessed with this. It's in a shade called Macaroon, which I already just love the wand. The wand is like interesting. Ugh. So pretty. And it also, like, literally smells like vanilla, like cupcake. Mm. Guys, it's so freaking pretty. This is literally, like, one of my new favorite lip glosses. They have a setting spray. Did you guys even know that they had a setting spray? Because I literally didn't even know that they had a setting spray. And the bottle is so freaking cute and aesthetic vibes. Like... This is the prettiest setting spray that I own. This is the Translucent Pure Setting Spray 16 Hour Invisible Little Spray. And I'm just actually obsessed with the bottle and the cap and everything about this is so aesthetically pleasing. Like this is like, she's my vibe, okay. It's also like a fine mist, which I love. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is my full face of Laura. 
This is my full face of Laura Mercier makeup. I'm literally obsessed with everything that like turned out. Guys, there wasn't like one fail product. Like I'm actually like, usually when I do my makeup or if I test new makeup, I'm like, there's something where I'm like, oh, okay. You saw it all. Like you guys saw, I've, there's no cuts. You guys saw. This is literally stunning. It looks so beautiful and gorgeous. Now I'm like, I need to go make 9 million TikToks so everyone can see. you guys i have to go take a million selfies because my makeup looks incredible i hope that you guys enjoyed this video comment down below would you guys like more of these videos obviously it might take me a while because i have to accumulate some products and all that stuff but i loved this i especially like one of my favorite makeup brands ever laura mercier if you're watching this video i'm um, literally love you. you you already know i'm a big fan girl we've been we've been ride or dies for the last seven years okay you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video comment down below out of all these products which one is your guys favorite which one of these products are you guys more likely to try have you guys tried any of these love 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 the blushes i love i just love everything that i'm like what is my favorite product if i was just to go based off like my favorite product before like you guys know the blushes i'm obsessed with it but because i've been obsessed with them for like a year ultra blur powder guys and then the foundation being serum and then just you guys know these these little lipsticks Okay, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.